All right, so I was gonna do a quick couple minute video here on uh, adding one of the black arch pads onto the back of a Kydex holster. <clears throat> Excuse me, I had a couple people ask me about that on one of the uh, Facebook groups and figured I would show a quick video on this. Okay, now this here is a holster that I bought on eBay and added the black arch pad from the Proto M holster to it. The reason I bought this holster is because of the cant that you can adjust. Uh, you can adjust it to any position that you want and I actually carry this at my six which I rarely ever carry that way but it is uh, needed occasionally if I'm out walking or something. But uh, yeah, first thing you're going to need is uh, industrial strength Velcro. Make sure it's the industrial strength. You may need scissors to trim it down just a little bit. And you get uh, two pieces of hook, two pieces of loop, as they call it. And uh, the holster I am going to use is from a company called Lil Gat. I'm a pizza freak, so as soon as I saw a pizza kydex print, I had to have it. And uh, yeah. Then I uh, got my other Black Arch Proto M pad in the mail the other day. These pads are about the best ones that I have personally seen that you can get. They are great for the summertime. Uh, keep the sweat off your firearm and your holster. And they're easily cleaned as well. You can just rinse them out with uh, warm water, hot water, or whatever, and they're great. <clears throat> Sorry, forgot to grab my scissors. First thing you're going to want to do is always make sure that your uh, your kydex lines up the way you want it on your pad. Um, now this pad, when you buy it, does come with all the screws and the spacers that are in there. I did take them out. You're going to want to make sure, in my case right here, that that's lined up about like that. The one main thing you're going to look at, before I forget to mention it, is you're going to want to make sure of where the, obviously where the kydex makes contact with the pad. And you're going to want to make sure that you put the velcro on there in the correct spot. Um, the way I did the other one, let go, stick these together, that way they're the same and cut them as they're together. That way you don't have to worry about matching them or anything like that. I would cut this, what I'm gonna do with this one, is cut it into strips. It's the easiest way, and then you can cut the strips in half if you need to. Make sure your scissors are sharp or if you have a really sharp knife, probably work as well, if you're good with that kind of thing. If you use dull scissors, you're going to end up shredding this like crazy. But what I would personally do, and what I'm going to do with mine here, is just... Actually, I'm going to cut one of these in half. That way i got two longer pieces, won't need those. Make sure of where your main contact points are. Sorry if I keep moving this off the camera. In my case, for this, the main contact points are going to be right along this part of the kydex. So I'm going to want to take one of these strips. Peel the plastic off both sides. Maybe. Maybe not. Why 
finally. I honestly don't think it's going to matter which side you put down, but you're going to want to make sure that it's on there. Correctly, put that on there and then place the pad so you can line it up. You want to do it right the first time so you don't have to keep removing it because that's going to uh, ruin your sticky situation here. Push that down on there. Now, if you do decide that you want to put more Velcro in there, it is relatively easy just to bend this around. This pad does bend and you can slide it in there. Like I may actually stick another piece right up here. And, but now you might ask if uh, it'll maybe come apart while you're carrying it or something like that. No, no, it won't because of the fact that uh, you're going to have the pressure. Like I carry appendix. You're going to have the pressure of your gut and your jeans and your belt or your pants or whatever you might be wearing holding this into place. Um, even if it's really hot, the sticky from the Velcro, it's not really gonna make that big a deal. Um, I did see somewhere in one of the holster uh, Facebook groups, someone mentioned that the glue from the Velcro did actually slide around after they took this off, after, after they removed it on a hot day. If that does happen and you try doing this, I would try putting some Gorilla Glue in there between the pad and the Velcro or hook and loop or either between the holster and it. That way you don't have to worry about it coming off. But I myself have not experienced that problem. Um, again, little Gat on the uh, Pizza Kydex. They also have a Donut Kydex if you were into those crazy Boker knives when they came out or whatever there. You can get a Kydex holster to match it. The name of this, I actually could not remember what the name of this uh, company was for this one. Looks like I did actually leave a screw in on this one. Maybe I will screw that in there just in case. Nah, maybe not. But uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you actually, uh, if you try this, it works out for you. Um, I myself thought it was a pretty good idea, but uh, yeah, enjoy your day.